Yeah. Nick, can you inform our well, viewers what is Dirt Surfers? Dirt Surfers is a premier racing event. It's not a festival. We're all about racing one wheels. We're in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. We're at the Passion Play. And, uh, yeah, that's that's where Dirt Surfers is, and that's where it started. And we're going to keep going. We're still Wait, having I, a good time. I love how you said it's a premier race. Yeah. Premier. Like, yeah, top of the line. It's you, a you doozy. Are, yeah, are it's you gonna, a doozy. You, get out of here. Oh, my goodness. It's a doozy of a race. <laughs> uh, it is like where Dirt Surfers – how many years has Dirt Surfers gone on for now, Nick? Uh, I think four years. This is year four. Four years. Amazing. And every year, have you seen the rider's ability progress? Every year I'm having to make the ch – every year people are people are making it harder for me because <laughs> I'm trying to make it – I want to make it harder every year. But I also have to keep it where everybody can do it. So there's a, there's a happy mm -hmm. medium there. But I have some things in store for this year for the pros um, that they're going to really like. So um, – yeah, we try to we try to make it where everybody can do it, but we're also going to step it up this year some more and push push the limits of the boards and the the folks on the boards. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Like I, as a viewer, uh, a fan of the racing league, I I just can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see all the footage that comes out of this event. Uh, it's it's so much fun to always go back and watch what transpires at the race because. Last year, uh, I mean, just watching some of the drops people were dropping off of, uh, you've done such a spectacular job to progress the sport. Uh, and so uh, for those that are unfamiliar, maybe some drone footage of the area will help people uh, get some context of where Dirt Surface is in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Here is, I'm going to say, the Coliseum of the uh, event. Uh, was it two years ago? It ended in this, if we can put the footage on the... Uh, the screen for our viewers, right? Didn't it end when one wheel was there? It ended here, right? Yes. Yeah, they had, we had the, we, what we did is we held the race and then, uh, the, the top, the top riders from, from my event got to go on to two other, got to do, uh, special stages to try to qualify for race for the rail. And we utilized, uh, the stage there as part of the race and they had to race through the event, through the, venue there which was really fun yeah that was pretty cool for people to could go back and re-watch it was it's a pretty cool uh, just to watch the race i was down there actually this all of us were down there with you what, a month ago or so and when you took us through where the pros had to come to finish it it changed it like on video it was like oh yeah that's cool when you had to do it it was like how in the world were they doing that at those top speeds beyond me beyond me <laughs> That was wild. There was, a, there was a couple of spots I was worried about myself, but that's why they're pros. They, everybody just made it look easy. Yeah, for sure. So that is the Coliseum area. Uh, and then the trails there. I mean, how many miles of trails do you know uh, that are there? 20 plus, 20 plus. And um, there's some guys that are building right now. They're, they're still working on some trails there. Um, so it's going to get bigger. If we have footage, uh, like, again, you can't capture all of those miles, but to give viewers a taste of what it looks like, this was shot a month ago, so it, you know, the leaves are missing and stuff, but you can kind of get the perspective of just, you're on top of a mountain, and there's just trails everywhere, and you'll see in a moment as the camera pans down, you'll begin to see just the trails pop through all the tree line, and it's, we were fortunate to have Nick and Rachel give us a, to a, a tour through there because we would have gotten lost for sure. But all of those just switchbacks and berms, it was, it was top, top of the sh line, top shelf. I don't know. How, it was just amazing, Nick. That is, that is, it, it's heavenly. That's, I don't even know how to say And that's not because there's a Jesus statue there. It's just. <laughs> Jesus is watching over us at all times. That's for sure. He's yeah. there. Okay, so I feel his presence. I feel his presence. It literally and figuratively. Uh, so you just—I mean—the breaking news is 
uh, in the last 24 hours or something, Dirt Surfer's registration for 2023 just what? went live, right? Let's go. It's live. Yeah, we wanted to. I wanted. I was. I was gonna do it Monday, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it Wednesday. So or it's one wheel Wednesday. Yeah, one, one wheel Wednesday, Wednesday, baby. So it's live. So you can go over to dirt, yeah. dirtsurfers.com. I'm doing it. And you can register. There's the dates, May yes, 19th sir. to the 21st, Eureka Springs, uh, Arkansas. Explain that to those that maybe are brand new to the racing scene, okay? The 19th and the 20th. Is it you're racing every day? What, what does it so, look like? So, yeah, I'll break it down real quick. So the 19th is purely a day of practice. So I will set the downhill course up on Thursday. So Thursday, I'll be out taping everything off, setting up the gates. There's going to be seven to eight stages. Last year, there were seven stages. May possibly have eight stages this year. Um, maybe a bonus top stage that I'm working on. Um, but we're going to lay all those stages out on Thursday. And then Friday, the 19th, will be open practice. So, so everybody can you know, plan your race. It's seven stages. There's seven starts. There's seven finishes. You can charge your board anytime you want. So uh, some people like to top it off. You don't want to be at a hundred because we start at the top of the hill every time. So you want to be at like 95 and uh, different people have different, different ways they race the race. And that's, what's cool about it is it's your own race. Yeah. A Saturday race is a time trial race where you are, you're, only you're only racing yourself you're only on the trail with yourself it's not a side-by-side -side race um so you're not having to worry about others um and then sunday sunday is going to be the long distance race the endurance race it's 7.5 miles Holy cow. and and it's continuous miles we're not talking about a loop there are no loops you will not do part of the trail some of the trails from saturday are used on sunday but you might be going backwards on a stage that you went downhill um, on Saturday. You might be going up it, um, but you're not going to go. You're not going to go on the same trail twice. You're going to on seven point five to eight miles of continuous trail, and you know you you can stop and do whatever you want. But there's some people that are not going to stop. There are people <laughs> go go go, and they and it's amazing. I was really last year was the first year we did the uh, the endurance race and. I had a lot of good feedback on it. A lot of people love that race. It kind of, you know, when we're out on the trails sometimes and you get in one of those zones, that's where you can get in one of those flow states and one of those zones and just get lost. And then before you know it, you don't even realize you're racing. You're just riding and there's other people on the trail with you and it's just a good time. And, um, yeah. So is that mass? Is that a mass start, or are you staggering uh, the race? So, so on the GT race, we're gonna, we're gonna. What we do is start. It's a, it's a mass start, but it's by category. So uh, the Groms, for instance, will all go at the same time, but, but, but they won't go with. You know, we'll have a, t we'll have like two minutes. I think I'm gonna do two minutes between each category, okay. and so um, each category will start off at the same time but not not the whole there won't be 200 people taken off at the same time just because it's a single track trail and i want it to be competitive to where people don't get in a situation behind somebody you know i try to keep it where the fastest people go first you know it's hard to do that but um i try to set it up to where all the fast people get through and then like all the groups are together so kind of you know like-minded riders are together and uh uh, yeah, it's 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 gonna it's, there will be some carnage out there. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, for hopefully, sure. Hopefully, hopefully nobody gets. Hurt. Thank you guys. It's been a pleasure. Subscribe to the YouTube channel right here for your latest one wheel content. We try to get some of the the most creative people and influencers in on this podcast for the community so you get to know them and hang out with them we love doing this so if you subscribed you get reviews throughout the week made videos that are doing like more than just showing you a product we go put them to use test them out see what they're like so stay tuned for that if you want to go watch some videos that are just straight entertainment from our races and stuff we drop those on sundays so you'll love those